Hi, hello and welcome back to Let's Talk by George. In today's video, we are going to review the latest ancient OS update. Yes, that is right. The, this is the GApps version which I, which I am using. So basically, the GApps version is having the Google launcher as default launcher. Then coming to the app drawer, you can see that the um, the the app drawer it is not bloated with a lot of uh, Google applications. So just basic application that you have the calendar, camera, go, Chrome, clock, contacts, and stuff like that. So let's come back and see if we get the latest Android 12 widgets for the ROM. If that is right in the launchers, I mean uh, in the customization for the widgets, you will get the latest Android clocks and stuff like that for this particular ROM. And let's go to the settings page and go to the system information. The ancient version is 6.2. The version name is Shield, and the maintainer for this particular ROM is Ryzen. And he did a fantastic job in optimizing the trees as well as delivering a smoother experience for the ROM. So as you can see the Android security update is on 5th of February and the kernel which is being used by default in this ROM is 4.9.304 for Ryzen V and it's I guess this is uh, this is an amazing kernel and this is an amazing build too. The AC Linux is enforcing. So that is the information about the ROM and this is how the app drawer looks like. So let's go to the settings page again and this is how the default settings page looks like. I mean when we talk about um, uh, ancient ROM. Ancient ROM delivers a lot of customization for its users. I know ancient ROM from Android 12. It is a fantastic ROM. It is an amazing ROM and the developer of the ROM did a great job in delivering a smoother and uh, a, a different experience for custom ROM lovers. So let us begin the customization option i mean to go to the customization option you have to select the various option icons on the floating toolbar down over here okay so the first one that we are having is the status bar customization as you can see the status bar customization you will get all the default customization options plus adding on top of that you can customize the um, the battery display how you want to display the battery icon and where the battery percentage has to be displayed then you can adjust the size, height and width of the icons such as a signal icon and um, Wi-Fi icon. Then if you want to enable, if you want to have the ancient logo on your status bar, definitely you can do that. And um, these all are the customization options that are available in the status bar customization option. I'm sorry, I cannot go through each and every option because it is going to make the video very long and i don't think somebody will be interested to watch long videos and coming to the themes you will get the themes to customize i mean uh, you get a, quite a lot of customization for the settings homepage theme so let's go to collapse nca 11 which is one of my favorites okay so let's the let's launch it back again so as you can see it is having the one ui kind of settings so if you are choosing different uh, settings for the settings page you will get um, different customization options and stuff like that so basically the bottom floating toolbar will be missing and it will be like craft with heart that there is an option so you will have to select that for the customization option anyway so these all are the customization options that are available for the home page theme I'm not going through each and everything but you will get quite a lot of fonts uh, you will get um, some icon shapes, icon pack, corner radius style for these sort of dialogues. And finally, the mono attention. If you want to enable the black theme, you can do that. And if you want to use custom colors for your user interface, definitely you can do that too. Then coming to the quick settings, you will get quite a lot of uh, customization option for the quick settings, such as where you want the brightness slider to be displayed on top, on bottom and uh, stuff like that. Then comes the button so basically uh, buttons you will have the default or you will have the standard uh, customization options then power menu then comes the gestures if you want to have the AOSB just customization definitely you can take it from here quickly open camera then system navigation and you get quite a lot of customization on the navigations too then let's come back and uh, 
you get quite a lot of customization on tap to screen gestures then three finger gesture for the screenshot and if you want to enable the brightness control on the status bar definitely you can do that too then comes the navigation bar so if you want to customize the navigation bar some standard uh, customization options are available then the lock screen comes up if you want to enable or disable uh, force a small lock screen clock you can do that then you will get the ripple effect and stuff like that then comes the notification so basically if you want to enable the colored status bar icons and the notification header colored icons you can do that if you want to enable the material dismiss button for the notification dismiss you can do that too so basically you get quite a lot of customization option over here and uh, you get a material dismiss button for the uh, quick settings notification area too animations standard stuff then battery you can have the ancient idle manager and kill google services so you will get two options and if you want to have the um, kernel battery saver profile enabled definitely you can do that too then miscellaneous contains uh, toast app, app icon and stuff like that then you will get unlimited photo storage option unlock higher fps unlock higher um, quality streams and stuff like that then signature spoofing spoofing option is here then if you want to show the cpu information definitely you can enable that too so these all are uh, uh, all are the things about the ancient customization option i mean the rom is filled with quite a lot of customization and what i really like about the rom is the uh, customization option that is available for the user interface i mean there is quite a lot of customization option available for the user interface even you can customize the uh, quick settings clock which is very nice and which even looks nice and even you can um, you can you can arrange the um, quick settings tiles styling and stuff like that so quite a lot of um, customization options are available with the uh, rom so if you want to enable the the um uh, the the themed icon which is by default in the uh, with the android 12 definitely you can do that with the rom too so let's go to the wallpaper and style and enable the themed icon so as you can see themed icon works perfect with the rom so what are my um opinion what is my opinion about the rom well the rom is very good and many thanks for the person who has compared it for redmi note 5 plus wins uh, it's ryzen and he did a wonderful job uh, in compiling the rom for wins delivering a smoother experience and especially taking up the official for android 12 ancient os rom for our device so it's really wonderful so if you want to have a rom filled with quite a lot of customization definitely you can um, try ancient os and you will never regret it because the rom is delivering a smoother experience to the custom ROM, custom rom users once again i would like to thank you for watching my review and please make sure to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you won't miss any further update